hi you guys welcome back to the channel I'm going to show you and it's going to be a short little video I'm going to show you how to remove this stuff from the CDs the labeling so you get something similar to this or this you can use them in two different projects now this I'm new to this I'm new to the CD plan um, so we are going to do it together on this channel um, so tonight I'm just showing you how to remove the labels this stuff okay um, I have ideas for these CDs um, I don't know what exactly I'm doing yet <laughs> um, I've been watching a few YouTube channels so I'm gonna flip you around Hopefully I get a good angle and I'm going to show you how I did that. And that! I know this one right here still has blue on it. I couldn't get all the all the packet all the labeling off, but but this is probably going to be a mandal uh sun catcher. So if I do a design on it, uh why not just incorporate that blue? So um, and then these, this, this one's right here where the silver didn't come off. Um, these will probably be, this will probably be cut up and turned into some sort of tiles. Uh, melted down into square tiles or, or chunky tiles or something with, uh, using acrylic paint. And that will just be a bonus to whatever happens. But those, that's my idea. Um, so let me flip you around and show you. How, to, how I figured out so far to do it. Um, I'm not using anything but tapes. So let me flip you around. Okay, here we go. I say excuse the mess of tabletop, but I'm not going to. All right, I have packing tape, regular duct tape, and when I was at the store today, um, yes, I went out on Easter Day. Um, I went out because a guy on um, a Facebook Marketplace sold me uh, about almost a hundred. It was between eighty to a hundred CDs for twenty bucks. So I went out and got those. Um, and while I was there, while I was in town, because we don't with this mess going on, this virus thing happening, we don't go no place unless we have to go someplace. Well. You know, it's an essential trip to go get CDs for a craft project. That's an essential trip. Um, I went ahead and got this Gorilla Tape because I thought it would work better than duct tape. But honestly, so far, the old packing tape's been working the best. But this will be great for anything else around the house because though sometimes duct tape doesn't... Duct tape's not what it used to be. Okay. So, we have these that they didn't all come off. What I found... Is so far I found that these shiny ones work the best. They actually work the best. Um, they the other videos say scratch it. Um, I haven't been scratching right off the bat. I've been taking a piece of the packing tape and I've been laying that down first and seeing what happens. So if I lay it down and rub it hard. I actually rubbed one time with one of them over here with this, like a boning tool kind of thing. It didn't make a difference. See, you don't always have to use a, a scratch. So it, that came off really easy. I, I have found so far that anything shiny comes off really easy. This one we're not going to do. This I think this is kind of cool by itself. Um, I think that would make a very cool... Um, I would pick spray paint this with a protective covering but I think I don't know what it means don't know what it means um, I can't remember what the CD was called but I kind of think that's kind of cool in a way so we're not gonna t we're not gonna do that one we'll put this one aside so basically just been using tape I have to get some more tape when I go back out daughter has a doctor's appointment this week. I can stop someplace and get some tape real quick. Um, basically, I've been just rubbing it on. 
and I'm sorry I have to use use this the reflection on this. I did when I was at Walmart pick up uh, some foam poster board in black, uh, white, and it's white on one side, navy blue on the other side, so that you guys don't always have to have a reflection. But tape and paper don't go well together, so I have to. This is white glass I picked up ever at a uh, junk shop. Um, they have this junk shop near me has um, sheets of glass, and I kind of was excited when I found the white. Um, sheep so basically you just put it on there and pull it off now I know some people who do like junk journals and stuff would save this stuff I don't, I'm not a junk jour journaler so I'm not saving this stuff and um, honestly I can't think of any way right now to recycle it to put it in the jewelry and I'm not going to save it because um, I just recently cleaned out my whole art studio and if you want to see that what that entailed that was a five-day ordeal um, because my art studio had become a junk a black hole over the last several years I had I had not been in here um, if you guys want to see what that entailed that was a five-day cleanup and that was just to get it like to where I was happy um, I fine-tuned it since then and I'll give you guys a um, a uh, art studio tour later. But this is so easy. This is easier than I thought. I'm finding that the packing tape works the best. And I'm finding that the silver CDs work the best to get it off. And I'm not... For what I'm going to do, because it is a CD and it is recycled, even when I make them into... Um, even when I make them into sun catches where I'll put like a, a mandel, mandel. I'm going to have to use some gooby gone or alcohol to get, I got a couple little pieces of packing tape. So I do want to, before I use these for any craft project, I do want to use alcohol. And on these clear ones, maybe a little gooby gone, but if I use gooby gone, I need to make sure I use alcohol afterwards. So the surface is prepped paint on or whatever. Um... I'm not really, really worried about getting every single little dot of this off of here because uh, I'm just not. I know some people on the YouTube channels uh, want to get every piece of this stuff off, but it, it is what it is. It, it, now, now, I'm going to say this all throughout the channel every single time. This is my opinion. No right or wrong way of doing this. Somebody else may tell you this is wrong. In my opinion, there is no wrong way wrong way of doing this. Just figure out what you want to do. I would not scratch this stuff off because then your CD would be all scratched up. I don't think that's a good idea. But if you want to sit here and scratch it lightly and take forever to scratch it off lightly, go right on ahead. Whatever floats your boat. Or as I will sometimes say, tote your boat. You know, just do what you want to do. I do, I do go over it a couple times to see if I can get any of that last little bit of stuff. But I find the more you touch this tape and leave your fingerprint, the, the less the tape works. So, um, like I said, I will go over it a couple times. And then I will call it done and be happy. I really want to do the sun catchers more than I do want to do the, than what I... <laughs> I do want to do the sun catchers more than I want to do the um, the melting tiles because I've I've melted this I've melted these before on something and um, I wasn't as as uh, excited about it. Okay, here is one that looks like it's a Fuji film, like it's pictures or Centuria. 1953 and 1960. Um, it's interesting what people these came these came from an older couple, so it's kind of interesting to see what they listen to. I mean, I expected to see stuff like Frank Sinatra, but it's really funny because um, as as I do this and show you what I'm doing, I got some CDs. Um, I had some. I had some. Not like I had to go out and buy them today. I had some CDs I gotten from this. Um, I went to a craft show. I was a vendor at a craft show, and it was a weird little craft show. It was um, at a mobile home. Oh, oh! Look, that's got a blue, 
but you can see through it. That's kind of cool. Um, I went to a craft shop. I was a vendor. It was only open to, um, vendoring was only open to the people who lived there. But it, it was kind of unique. I got to be a vendor because I have a friend who lives in the park. And she invited me to be a friend. Her, I, she could, you, if you lived there, you could have another person in the park. And um, at the end, it was like the, the vendors, the crafters were on the out. It was in a big room. They were on the outside of the event. Up on the inside of the building and then down the center of the building it was like their it was like their um I'll say fellowship hall but that rec hall rec hall um it, they had these tables two wide probably ten long uh two rows of them so total of four tables wide center aisle down the center but the, it was full of like yard sale stuff and at the end of the event you were allowed to put anything in a bag for a dollar. So I waited and waited and thought, oh, I'll snatch up the CDs because I knew I was going to be doing a project. I wanted to do something like this. I, well, I knew at the time I was going to do the tiles, the melt them into tiles with paint between them. But I, I decided to grab, grab them up. Well, I, I thought I had a whole lot until I got home and I started... Well, not got home until I went through them the other day. And I realized as I was unpacking them from the cases that a lot of the cases were empty. But I still got my dollar's worth. I'll put it that way. Now you see, that's kind of neat. It's blue. And that will be pretty. Just by itself. Oh, oh that's, that's nice. I'm okay with that. They're all going to come out different. Oh, as I was saying, I, I was going through the CDs, finding out that I really didn't have a lot, but it was interesting because it was a lot of old stuff in the CDs, and um, there was some porn. <laughs> so, I don't know if the old guy or whoever, old lady, I don't know whose porn it was. Now, let's see what happens. Nothing. All right, so this one we're going to have to scratch. I've not scratched a whole... I'm sorry, Frank Sinatra. Okay, my understanding is you just lightly scratch. You don't scratch hard, but you have a scratch on the CD itself. So you just go lightly just to break it. So let's see what happens. Um, but yeah, there was three pieces of, there was, I think it was porn. I did not watch it. I'm not going to watch it. And maybe this is not going to work yet. Okay. So far, this one's not working. I'll have to scratch it just a little bit more. I don't really want to scratch them a lot. Okay. Ah, oh, there we go. Just got to get it going. That's all. Once you get it going... It comes off. But yeah, it, it, at least I thought it was porn. But it don't matter. By the time I take the, the, the stuff off, it won't matter if it was or wasn't. I was telling a friend that I got some in there. She said, I was wondering if you would or would not. I didn't make a big deal about it to my friends at the at the park because uh, um, I just didn't. <laughs> I mean, I'll tell her sometime when I'm talking to her that I think there was porn in those CDs. But hey, you know, oh guys, I guess like they're porn too. But, yeah, this is what I'm doing. I'm going to do quite a few up. It's not that hard. I, You know, when I, this was the first one I did tonight, this one. And at first I thought, oh, it's never going to come off. It's never going to come off. But imagine, I don't have any color right here, believe it or not. Imagine color behind this. You know, take this CD here that's pink. Imagine color behind that and then that melted down. That's going to be pretty. That. You know, because the way you do it is you cut these into squares, which I'll show you guys when I get ready to do them. Um, 
but most of them I want them as as naked as possible as naked as possible so I can do the because I have crap load of beads and I make my own paper beads so um, this is something I've wanted to do for a while something I wanted to do for a while I just didn't realize how unpopular CDs were I mean if you go on them Facebook marketplace um, there's a lot of people selling CDs I guess because of the technology we have out there now um, you don't um, need to listen to CDs anymore I just listen to radio I don't I don't I'm not into all that fancy who all stuff like I'm not all into uh, TV and and stuff Every now, I think my tape is old, because every now and then my tape splits on me. But I didn't think about buying more of this today, more packing tape. I'm going to end up using it all up, and I need to really save some. <laughs> I got a package I want to send out. But yeah, I didn't think about buying more packing tape, because I really thought the Gorilla Glue, I mean Gorilla Tape was going to do the best, because I know when I used it on another project, it worked great, but I'll show you guys a uh, sticky spot. I'll show you guys what happens when you use because I mean this this packing tape is pretty much getting this stuff off now for one thing this is this this does not rip like duct tape okay this this is some serious tape okay so you take a piece of it and watch watch it make a liar out of me but I don't think it pulls it off oh, okay it's making a liar out of me so it works too but you have a lot more pull with this I mean you have to work at it harder you have to work at it harder with the Gorilla Tape than you do with the packing tape. And in my opinion, the duct tape, it's okay. But it doesn't really do as much. See, it made a liar out of me. It made a liar out of me. So, I think anything would work except for maybe masking tape. At least that's what everybody else said on YouTube. The other people's videos I watch, they all said that you had to work a lot harder if you used... Well, one woman said you had to work a lot harder if you use masking tape. But you see, that's pretty much... See, I'm actually... It needs... It needs to have some goopy gone or something. There's a sticky residue from the tape. And I don't know which tape left the residue. I don't know if it's... I actually think it's this tape that left the residue. Because... I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see that residue. That tape, I think, left the residue. Let's see if we can clean it up with this. So I'm going to have to use a little gooby gone on some of these. But I think my son's got my gooby gone. Because I got a phone call from him last night saying, I just wanted to tell you, gooby gone's wonderful. <laughs> and I'm like, I know. <laughs> and I'm like, you can use gooby gone, alcohol, or even hand sanitizer on sticky stuff. Because hand sanitizer will remove sticky stuff too. But that stuff's a precious commodity right now. And I feel like there's some tape somewhere. Yeah, that's a precious commodity right now, hand sanitizer. So, but this is what I'm doing for these and getting these CDs. So if you wanted to know how to remove the, the stuff from a CD, the label from a CD, this is how you kind of do it. And then you can go back, you know, remove... The sticky with Gooby Gone, or uh, do not use um, acetone. Acetone will distort the, the, the CD. It'll make it all cloudy and brittle and break. So that's what everybody else was saying. Don't use acetone. It's too harm harsh on it. But um, see, here's one with a. Let's do this one real quick. I know I ramble when I talk when I'm doing this, but I ramble in all my videos. Um, I, I just ramble. I talk. There'll be some videos which I won't ramble. I'll get serious and talk and, and do the video only and stuff, but if I was uh, teaching you or you were sitting here with me doing a project, I'd ramble at you. Okay, this one came off really easy. I had one earlier that was like, I had to go over it twice. The decorative came off first, and then I had to turn around and redo it. I had to turn around and take the silver off. This one's going to be a bit of a booger. This one's going to be a little bit harder. 
Yeah, this one's gonna be harder. Let's try some of this. Ugh, even though I think this 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 leaves a sticky spot. And these are like really old nasty scissors. Because I don't like cutting tape with my good scissors. So I tried to dig out some old icky ones from my scissor container. Alright, that did not do as much. Let's try duct tape. And this is actual duct tape, I think. No, it's Ace Hardware duct tape. This is Ace on the inside. It, I, I, this does not stick well on boxes, I can tell you that right now. It took a little bit off, but not a lot. I think this is just going to be a harder one to get clean. Yep, I think this one's going to be a harder one to get clean. Let me try my other technique of laying it out flat. This is why we're having a shiny background behind. Because I can peel this off of this. Rub it on hard. And peel it off my table. Ah, uh, see? This might be a goner. This might not be as easy, this one. I wonder if I do scrape it, if it would help. You don't want to scrape hard. You just want to scrape enough. To get it started. I don't know. This one might not work as well. This one might not work as well. I think this one's going to be harder. I think this one's going to take some time. And I don't know any other way to get it off. Except for just sit here and go up and down on it with the tape. Now, if I was a junk journaler, that purple would look nice on a junk journal. I didn't. I don't understand the concept behind junk journals. Um, I think some of them are really unique when I see them, um, but I just don't understand using my materials um, in a book that's got so many. It's not consistent, but I think that's just my OCD thing where, you know, it's not equal. But I do think some of the stuff that people do is gorgeous. I mean, I, uh, I find it very interesting, but I probably will never, ever, I'm not going to say never. Don't say never. I probably won't do a, a tutorial on junk journaling because I just I can't, I don't know. A craft hoarder and I just can't see uh, using my materials on something like that but hey everybody's got their thing so I'm gonna say um, if you like my videos like and subscribe um, and you know art is creative so go out there and create some art and I'll see you guys in the next video until then bye